we are now all set to deploy octopus on drupal so go back to your spike ramp configuration page you can do this by pointing your web browser to localhost forward slash spike ramp click on the mysql administration link that you see on the left side this will ask you for the root password of mysql which we set earlier so enter that password and click go this will bring you to the mysql configuration page of spike ramp click on the link which says databases this will show you all the databases which are currently configured in mysql select the database which says drupal and click on the little button here which says x which means we want to drop this database we are going to drop this database because octopus will create its own drupal database so go ahead and drop the drupal database it will ask you to confirm that you indeed want to drop it so go ahead and click on yes this will drop the database and you will see that it no longer is listed in the databases table we are now going to create a fresh drupal database for octopus so go to the create a new database box enter drupal all small d r u p a l and click on create this will create a fresh drupal database now click on the import tab that you see on the top we want to import the octopus configuration click on the browse button and select the octopus file that you downloaded earlier i had downloaded it to my desktop and the name of the file is octopus underscore version number dot sql dot zip go ahead and open this file and then click on go if the import goes successfully you will see a message telling you that the import was successful and how many queries were executed once you have successfully done the import we are all set to start using octopus to access octopus point your browser to localhost forward slash drupal when you do that you will first get a very simple page in which you can log in so make sure you log in as administrator the username is admin and the password also is admin so go ahead and log in this will bring you inside the octopus expert system note that initially it is just a simple html page because the octopus theme has not yet been triggered so the first thing we need to do is trigger the theme so scroll down and click on the administer link this will bring you to the administration page scroll down and you will see a link for themes on the right side under site building click on the themes you will now see a page which will have options for the themes so scroll down this page and look for the theme which says garland it should be enabled and you should see a link for configure so go ahead and click on configure this will bring you to the configuration page of the garland theme so scroll down do not change anything leave everything as is and when you scroll all the way down you will see a button for save configuration simply go ahead and click on the save configuration button this will trigger our garland theme and you will see a green bar appear on the top you can now go ahead and click on the octopus icon the logo that you see here 
and this will bring you to the welcome page of Octopus and you can see that the theme is all set up and good to go. At this point your installation of Octopus is complete. Users can access Octopus by going to your server forward slash Drupal. The first thing we recommend you do is change your administrator password. To do this click on the administrator menu link on the left side. Scroll down where you see user management. Click on users. Here you will see your administrator user account. You can edit it to change the password. To create new users, you can click on the add user link that you see on top. Once you create a user, they will be able to start using Octopus. I am now going to show you one more thing and that is how to control the Octopus service. To control the Octopus service, you need to control the MySQL service and the Apache service. Let us see how to do that. You can control these services from the services utility of Windows. To access them click on start, control panel, system and security, administrative tools and double click on services. This will bring up all the services that are running on your Windows machine and here on the top you can see the Apache 2 service which provides the server for Octopus. It should be started and you can control it from the options that you see on the left side. If you scroll down you will see the MySQL service which provides the database for Octopus. It should be started and Again on the left side you can see the options for controlling this service. So in this way you can control the MySQL and Apache services and in doing so you control the Octopus service. This completes your installation of Octopus. If you have any issues with your Octopus installation, please report them by visiting the support section of our website at www dot fast kangaroo dash software dot org. Thank you very much for installing Octopus.